Why is the blessing, the abundant life, the Zoe life not flowing into the soul and into the body? Could be your very important question. Let me tell you, one of the main reasons the blessing of God, the abundant life is not flowing to your soul and to your body because it is the spirit that knows all things but your soul knows only the old things your spirit knows all things that's what the scripture says but your physical mind knows only old things and because your mind is now not thinking like as to how the spirit thinks the Bible says, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. And the Bible also says, the carnal mind, the sense ruled mind, the mind of the flesh, it is in enmity against God and it is hostile toward God and it is constantly at war against God. So where does this war happen? In your mind. The mind is the battleground. How does this war happen? Any time you get a word from God, immediately the enemy argues the case. It litigates the issue. When you read the word and you see that by his stripes we were healed, it immediately argues, do you think you're really healed? Check out your pain and he'll increase your pain. Do you think you're really prosperous? Take a print of your bank balance and you will know. It argues the case. And the argument is always about God's word. It argues when you hear that you are blessed. It will argue, are you really blessed? Are you really healed? And then it will boil down even to the question, are you really saved? Do you think this is true? Don't you think you're wasting your time coming to church? Have you not considered your friend who does not come to church and he is still prosperous? These are age-old arguments. Satan does not have a new way. He's always against the word. Your spirit has become a new man. But the old man is still here and he's not able to understand what the new man is thinking. Do you know what was the first statement that Satan told to Eve? Let's read that portion, Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1 onwards. This is the first statement that Satan is making to Eve. Very interesting. Please read all the scriptures. I'll read it for you. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? You see how he's arguing the case. He's not against Eve, but he's against the knowledge of God in Eve. He comes to Eve and he says, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? What a subtle question. And do you know what Eve replied? I want you to see this. Look at the response of Eve. The women said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. She knew 
because her response was clear for that again what did satan say verse 4 you will not certainly die the serpent said to the woman for god knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be open and you will be like god knowing good and evil see how he's coming against god's word constantly if only eve would have rebuked him she would have never did that action let me tell you my dear friend every problem that you see in this world is a result of a conversation with the snake but because she allowed satan to speak and you know satan he comes to you with suggestions and from the suggestions he brings up all the contradictions and from the contradictions he puts you in a place of confusion and intimidation and then finally a conviction for you to do the action and when you do the action that is when you become slaves to sin and he puts a banner on you deceived this is how satan works he argues the case against god's word do not converse with snakes be careful whom you talk to and be careful whom you let talk to you